Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Breaking FBI makes their move after uncovering Hillary's illegal plot in Australia. It seems that Hillary Clinton isn't only committing fraudulent money scams on American taxpayers with her fake foundation and bogus global in initiative, but now Australia can be added to the places around the globe that the Clintons have stolen from, and this time the FBI, FBI isn't wasting any time in speaking to someone who can out her actions. A retired Australian police detective turned investigative journalist seems to have information that could lead to serious charges to be added to the rest um, to the rest what is being considered in the in the cases of the swamp queen ironically this new information was also tied to the bogus Russian collusion mess making it just another reason why the Democrats really should stop trying to frame Trump if they have any hopes of actually attaining any kind of triumph against him it sure is becoming very obvious that with every step they take in false accusations toward our president, they seem to trip themselves up just a little bit more. An Australian investigative journalist who is a retired police detective said Tuesday he has been asked to provide the FBI with details about multiple allegations of mishandling millions of dollars contributed to the Clinton Foundation by the Aussie government. He went on to say that I have been asked to provide the FBI with further and better particulars about allegations regarding improper donations to the CF funded by Australian taxpayers, Michael Smith told LifeSet. At the center of Smith's complaints are former President Bill Clinton, former Secretary of State and 2016 Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton, and multiple Australian government officials, including senior diplomat Alexander Downer, that government's high commissioner to the United Kingdom. Downer hit the U.S. headlines recently when he was reported to have told the FBI of a May 2016 conversation he had with then George Papadopoulos, uh, then a campaign aide to President Donald Trump. Downer told U.S. law enforcement officials that Papadopoulos told him Russia had dirt on Hillary Clinton. The New York Times claimed it in its December 30, 2017 story that the information Downer gave the FBI was a major factor in the Bureau's decision to investigate allegations of collusion between Russian interests and the Trump campaign. Papadopoulos pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI last year. The material Smith is giving the FBI focused on a 2006 memorandum of understanding between the Australian government and the Clinton Clinton Foundation's Clinton HIV AIDS initiative. Smith claims that the foundation received a $25 million financial advantage dishonestly obtained by deception as a result of actions by Bill Clinton and Downer, who was then Australia's Minister of Foreign Affairs. Smith claims the foundation received $25 million financial advantage dishonestly obtained by deception. Also included in, in the Smith materials are evidence he believes shows corrupt October 2006 backdating of false tender advertisements per, 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 uh, purporting sorry, to adv uh, adv advertise the availability of a $15 million contract to provide HIV slash AIDS services in Papua New Guinea on behalf of the Australian government after an agreement was already in place to pay the Clinton Foundation and or associates. A third complaint concerns what Smith describes as the $10 million financial advantage dishonestly obtained by deception between April 1, 2008 and September 25, 2008 at Washington, D.C., New York, New York, and Canberra, Australia, involving an MOU between the Australian government, the Clinton Climate Initiative, and the Perpetuated Global Carbon Capture and Storage Institute. A spokesman for the Clinton Foundation did not respond to LiveSet's request for comment early Tuesday. Now, millions of dollars have been stolen from the American people through the, through the many years of the Clinton's domination of the charitable organization platform. Haiti has been forced to fall backwards in their climb to a civilized society due to the same foundation's theft of donations. And now Australia is coming forward to state in no uncertain terms that the Clintons are stealing from their people as well. It is officially a global initiative, all right. 
an incentive to suck the funds from every country they can before possibly disappearing into the sunset forever. Financial uh, succubus is what they are. Let us hope and pray that this brave man isn't suddenly found dead by the way of somehow stuffing his own dismembered body into a duffel bag or by a self-inflicted bullet to the back of his head. We all know how anyone with anything against Hillary seems to suddenly find the urge to commit suicide more days before their info reaches mere days, sorry, before their info reaches authorities.